up. You know, this game uh, across the interaction of different characters is really, really smooth. Uh, so testing and and resolving those issues that we come across is really important. So we don't want to just go and make the game, release it, you know, give players this really bad experience with bugs, some of them unrecoverable, right? Um, we want to actually fix those things before we release it, even if it comes to a fa even if it comes to a play test, right? Because what I'm doing is I'm, I, I want to play test this. I'm not going to be able to deliver on what I'm after if I don't fix the game as much as I can first. Um, so that's that's the that's the main thing of what we're doing here. Uh, very very important that we actually do that and we spend the time to do that and we get things right. Um, before we just go ahead and release it. Uh, with all these bugs, untested, create game crashes, I mean, what a terrible experience. Um, and then, a lot of that sort of stuff can frustrate people, especially if they don't understand. Um, they will get frustrated and they won't like the game. And that's not, and that's going to be difficult to recover, um, when people have had a bad experience with the game. So, we need to test, we need to fix things. Uh, that's what we've been doing for the last few months uh, with this and primarily for the first phase, for the first, uh, for playtest phase one, that is, uh, for this game, uh, we are at a really good quality of game right now. Um, so, uh, there's still some things to fix up. We've got to fix up, obviously, the Z order of all this, for example. We don't want anyone like... Um, we, we don't want it to anyone sort of standing on, each, on people like that. That's particularly minor in terms of functionality though. Um, so some bugs, particularly recoverable ones or ones you can work around are to be expected in the play test and that's fine and that can be understandable by the player. But when it comes to, um, you know, showing people something, uh, if you're going to show people something, uh, in, in the sense of a, a release, that is not necessarily before release, but um, in the sense of, a, a, you know, a release, um, then we need to make sure that we're smoothing out everything we can. Uh, is everything behaving as it, is it as intended? Um, if it's not, we need to spend some time fixing it. If it is, and everything's been tested, uh, and we can't, and, we, and you know, we really can't see anything that's significantly um, an issue, we can go ahead and release it um, and let the players, you know, enjoy what we can't, what we know is currently good. Uh, and who knows? They might actually well, they, they might actually enjoy it as well. They might even pick up issues that you uh, that you did not pick up either, which is very likely, right? And so, because we're we're not really I mean, as developers, we don't play the game uh, like a player plays the game. Players explores everything about the game, everything. They don't know anything about it. They explore everything about it. So they will run into things that we haven't run into things uh, before because uh, we know how the game works. So we're we're interacting with the game with a biased knowledge of how things operate um so that's why multi-instance testing has taken a while um amongst the fact that i you know i am doing this part-time at the moment so <laughs> or casually um but uh effectively same sort of thing uh the same uh you know the same quality result is achieved when we spend the time to fix things um and we get things right and we, you know, sometimes we backtrack. I mean, I've how many times uh, during this whole development cycle here so far for, um, for the playtest phase one that we've actually uh, gone back and redesigned the call for help here, this window. Uh, we've done this about three times, uh, three or four times. We've just got there. Um, I said, right, we're going to need to do it this way. Oh no, that doesn't work because of how I'm, I like to develop the game. There's a lot involved in this, so I'm trying to I'm trying to work out what works, what feels good. Um, we've gone from a, a more interactive window, which was taking away from main gameplay, uh, to more of a notification system, which does allow you to, uh, you know, pick things up and interact very, in a, in a very minor state to this. Um, so, and, and we're yet to make possible changes to that again in the, as, you know, time goes on. But at the moment, uh, this is what we've got. Um, and not only that, instead of just icons, we've got things to do explain uh, what's going on with, you know, uh, what we're receiving here uh, from a remote location. Because, um, 
you know, at like, you know, the, the tooltips that I created here for all of these icons. Uh, what things mean when they flash in certain ways. Um, and we do have, uh, you know, something in plain English so you can actually see what's going on as well just by glancing at it. What the actual message is, the ID, all that sort of stuff. So there's things there and, you know, we've also made, we've also had, uh, we've also tweaked this window a little bit so that it's actually um, at, a size, at a size which is appropriate as much as possible. Um, in the sense that uh, it's not too big, it's not taking up too much of the game screen, but we can still move it around, we, still, we can still close it if we need to, um, you know, we can still open it up again. So, you know, all these things, there's a lot of, there's been a lot of design in this, and I may have put maybe too much in the, in the, fir in the first um, gameplay, uh, game testing phase. Um, however, uh, it is, uh, it is what we need for the first phase of um, game development here for Drenticity. Because this game is going to be very, very involved. Uh, more involved than any other game that I've made. Um, so we do have to take things slowly, we do have to take things carefully. And we do have to test things um, every every time we introduce a feature or a bunch of fe a small bunch of features. Instead of, instead of introducing everything and then finding out that you know, we've got a big mess on our hands and we can't fix it because it's too confusing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's the importance of what we're doing here. 